Welcome to the final round of the 380 Ammo Quest, where I've been putting I don't know how many rounds, I've put a lot of rounds through the test, trying to find if I can find a round that works in a 380 micro pistol. Is there a round of ammunition that can meet the FBI specification of minimum 12 inches of penetration through ballistic gel, through both bare gelatin and also uh, heavily clothed gelatin. And for heavily clothed, I'm using the International Wound Ballistic Association protocol of four layers of 16 ounce per square yard heavy denim. This stuff is for real. This is not, you don't go down to the thrift shop and buy somebody's old pair of jeans and, and lay that in front of the gel block. That is not the specification. This is designed to be a worst case scenario. So this is some thick, thick, heavy cloth. And so in the original rounds, I put uh, 14, 15, 16 rounds through bare gelatin, trying to find those that would meet the specification of traveling at least 12 inches and expanding while not over penetrating. If a round failed to expand and over penetrated, you know, 20, 21, 22 inches, then it's out. It's out of consideration. So the rounds that have made it to the finals are those that hit an average of 12 inches. Ideally, I want to see every round go at least 12 inches, but to qualify for the finals, if they at least made an average of 12 inches, they're in. So all the rounds that I'm testing in the finals have already met that specification in bare gelatin. Now we're going to be testing through the heavy denim. And for this set of tests, I'm using the organic gelatin. This is the genuine ballistic gelatin, exactly the same stuff as used by the FBI, bought from the same supplier where the FBI buys theirs, and prepared to the same specifications, the same recipe, the same storage, uh, everything identical to the way the FBI does it. The reason I'm not using the clear gelatin, there's, there's two reasons for not using that in the finals. Number one, I want to make sure my results are absolutely unimpeachable because, hey, we're in the finals. Let's make sure we, we know exactly what the round can do. And there may be some people who will accept organic gelatin where they may not accept clear ballistic gelatin, the synthetic gel. Doesn't matter to me. I tested both ways. But for the finals, I'm going to use the organic stuff. Second reason is that when you're testing through denim, um, as the bullet punches through, frequently it will drag a whole bunch of denim into the gel block with it. And that makes a mess of your gel block. Now, the clear ballistic stuff is reusable. And so I don't like using that stuff for denim tests because the denim gets in it and it messes it all up. And when you remelt the block, it's all muddy. The organic gelatin, you use it and you toss it. So if this gets all messy with denim, I don't care. That's fine. You know, I'm just going to toss it out anyway. So the first that I'm putting through the test, Hornady Custom. This is an XTP bullet round. I tested several XTP rounds and they all performed very well in the bare gelatin. But now we got to put them through the test in the organic gelatin with the denim. And the reason that I'm concerned about this is because Hornady specifically developed the FTX bullet and put that polymer flexible tip in it because that makes it more consistently performing through denim. Well, the Hornady Custom and the other XTP rounds don't have that polymer tip. So will they clog up? Will they fail to expand? Will they over penetrate and remove themselves from contention? We're going to find out. This gel block has the Hornady Custom bullets in it through the heavy denim. You can see just all sorts of blue. What I was talking about earlier about um, how it'll drag denim into the gel block. And you can see that's that's why I didn't want to use my reusable clear ballistic gelatin. It, it would have messed it up. But the Hornady Customs did pretty well. Not perfect, but pretty darn well. I can see down into the block most of them if not all of them, did expand, although uh, not textbook this time. You know, when I tested in bare gelatin, the customs were just beautiful. They had magnificent uniform expansion. Here, the denim did interfere. Consequently, I do have a couple of rounds that penetrated even further. The customs were not the deepest penetrating XTP round I had um, in, the, in the phase one testing. 
here they did penetrate. Most of them penetrated nice and deeply. Uh, not all though. The Hornady Customs were a solid performer in the bear gel test and in the heavy denim test they did great as well. They're not perfect. We got good decent penetration but we didn't quite hit the standard uh, that I was looking for where I want every bullet to go at least 12 inches. In this case three of them did. One of them was really close, 11 and 3 quarters, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to disqualify it for not hitting 12. It is 11 and 3 quarters, but the shortest one is 10 and 5 eighths, and that's a little disappointing. Their average is over 12 inches in the heavy closing test. It's not a case of every round exceeding 12 inches, which is disappointing because that is what I'm looking for, but it is still a good, good, solid performance. Here we have the recovered Hornady Customs. These are the first of the XTP rounds that we're testing. And they look reasonably good. I mean, for having been through four layers of denim, four of them look like basically conventionally expanded hollow points. This one here obviously is having his share of issues. But even so, I can't fault it. Look at that thing. It, it's got nasty sharp pedals and it's expanded definitely bigger than it was so in general regarding the recovered xdps i think they did pretty well penetration wise some were great some not so great so do i recommend the hornady custom overall mm, i think it's a good choice i think it's a good solid choice but it's not ideal i'm going to keep looking to see what the other XTP rounds offer. Hornady Custom is different than the others in that it is loaded to a higher velocity, about 10% higher than some of the other rounds. And that will impact its expansion characteristics. So maybe the other rounds will do better. I don't know. If you had Hornady Customs, I think you'd be reasonably well armed. We had an average penetration of 12.33 inches. We had three that did really solidly well. We had two that came up, one barely short, one little short. In general, overall, I'm quite pleased with the customs. I think they did great, and I think they're a good, solid candidate for use in your micro pistol.